Welcome to Bat Ranch, I'm Dr. Matt. We have a slightly angry cat. He is like three quarters feral and we just took the top off his cage and he was letting us pet him and then he started giving us some, some growls saying to kind of back off. So <clears throat> what I know about this guy is he needs to be neutered today. He's a homeless cat who's kind of wandered up somebody's house. Um, he also apparently has some, some nasty teeth. So we're gonna go ahead and anesthetize him real quick before he attacks me and then we will fix him up. But he has a humongous Head. He's a big, muscular cat. A flea? Okay. We found a flea. This is what a big, manly cat looks like. He is just all muscle, solid, huge head, huge, muscular neck. Look at these paws. He's a giant, giant, muscly cat. He's cool. We're going to go ahead and get a endotracheal tube in him and get started. I open up his mouth and uh, he doesn't need a dental cleaning. He's just missing some teeth. So that's why the people who found him thought he needed some work. He's just missing teeth because he's the tomcat who has been out in the world probably fighting. So all we're gonna do today is neuter and vaccinate him and put some flea meds on him. Since it's not gonna be a super exciting video, I'll let you guys see what we're gonna do here. So we have both testicles right there and you just make a slice over them and squeeze them out. And we pull them out of this little capsule here. And he has two tubes, one for blood and one for sperm. And I just separate these two tubes and tie them on each other. No sutures needed on a cat neuter. You just tie them on themselves. Just like that. Very quick and easy procedure. And we actually don't even suture the whole closed. It will close up on its own. Now do the exact same thing for the other side. And in just a couple minutes, he is neutered. We are waking him up now and giving him a little antibiotic shot, some pain meds, and we also gave him his vaccines and flea treatment. We get lots of questions on why we spay and neuter every animal that comes through here, and that's because all these animals are around and homeless because there's too many animals, so they are overpopulated. There's not enough people to take them in the house and take good care of them. So we spay and neuter them to prevent that problem in the future. He has woken up from anesthesia and I think he's a little more upset with me than he was before, but I don't blame him. If you want to help support what we do here on Vet Ranch, donate to a link in the description. It's Abandoned Pet Project and they are the ones who support what we do. And if you guys support them, they support us and we can continue helping homeless animals like this guy. Thanks for watching Vet Ranch. We will see you next time.